Hey guys, welcome back to Chat with Chuck. We're back for spring of 2023. It's my first video of the year. And today I'm here with Logan Smith. Logan is a nursing major here at Bellarmine, as well as being involved with club volleyball and the ADG fraternity on campus. Mm -hmm. So, and Logan's a junior, just like me. Um, so I guess Logan, so tell me a little bit about club volleyball. You used to join that this past fall. Yep. So how did you get involved with that? So it was kind of just the involvement fair. Uh, my friend Adam plays and mm -hmm. he's the vice president and I just talked to him and he wanted me to come out and give it a shot. So I went out there. I really had a good time. There's a lot of good guys and also just volleyball tournaments. Yeah. It's, it's fun. That's good. How many did y'all, so I know y'all had a bunch of fun with the guys at tournaments. How was the play? At first it was kind of rough. However, just with practice and I mean, practice makes perfect. That's what they say. Oh, yeah. So we definitely got better as time progressed, and we just had more communication, more of a bond, and stuff that would really help out the team. That's awesome. Let's see. Okay. All right, and so you are in ADG as well. How does that – you joined that as a freshman, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, and – you rush that are you happy with your decision to go rush fraternity i am happy with it just because it introduced you to a lot of like new guys and also just you have so many connections yeah. uh i've been to conference and i've been to conventions just with a lot of alumni just getting in contact with them people of different like chapters of the fraternity and it's just always been good talks just hearing other people's stories and yeah. It's a lot of networking too, yeah. so like career opportunities. Yeah, can you tell like me a little that. bit more about going to those conferences and stuff? Yeah, so one of them was just up in Indianapolis. It was a quick two hour drive for a weekend. We stayed at my place because I live up that way. Mm -hmm. um, it was just talking about a lot of leadership and becoming the best version of you as possible. Yeah. And kind of ways that you can grow the fraternity on campus, stuff like that. Uh, convention was in Kansas City this past summer. It was a four-day trip, I believe, okay. and it was something similar. However, we also had national elections for, like, our national board. Mm -hmm. We would just hang out with the guys. We went out to a baseball game, had a big barbecue and cookout, and just had a really good time together. That's awesome, man. So what kind of drew you to wanting to join a fraternity? So my dad was in a fraternity whenever he went to Hanover, so I'm kind of like, I want to be in a fraternity because that's yeah. what he was in. And kind of like as I read about it more and kind of looked into it, I realized it's more than just the stereotypical party aspect. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of guys that you can really trust and count on. And then you also have that networking that I was talking yeah. about. So I don't know, it kind of just felt right to me just because it's a place that you can go mm -hmm. and just have those connections. Well, that's awesome. Has it been hard to balance being in a fraternity and having a social life with also being a nursing major, one of the hardest majors here at Bellarmine? Absolutely. Um, just because there's times whenever like we have meetings or we have any type of event and there's times whenever I can't do both. So it's, I have to either study way ahead mm -hmm. or I just can't make the event just if I have an exam yeah. the next day because nursing stressful. It is, I'm sure. So it's kind of hard to balance it out. And then the social mm -hmm. life aspect too, it's, yeah. you have to make sacrifices. I'm sure. I'm sure. So being, so you're one of, you're one of the few guys in nursing. How many, do you have a ballpark or maybe how many guys are there since it's a mostly? I want to say like five or six of us in this really? nursing class. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's crazy. It's small. Is it just your grade or like the whole? Yeah, just our grade. Okay. Out. That's crazy. So I guess with that, do you kind of get kind of close to those guys? Yeah, absolutely, and like, as I mentioned, my friend Adam that I play volleyball with, he's also a nursing major, and I spend a lot of time studying with him, I also spend a lot of time just talking to those guys in nursing. Yeah, no, that's really cool. So being a nursing major, what's kind of some challenges and rewards that you've found out through that, now being in your junior year? So challenges, definitely getting into it, is you're going into a female dominant profession mm -hmm. uh that can be a little bit of an intimidation factor um but you also have in clinicals some people are less receptive to guys like right now i'm in labor and delivery oh wow it 
can cause a little bit of attention yeah, just I because see. being a guy in that situation. Mm-hmm. It's not it's not what you the people expect to see. Exactly. So, okay. So it can cause a little bit of a challenge. However, just one thing that I love about nursing that I consider a award is there's so many options that you have. Mm-hmm. There's the labor and delivery aspect for the people that want to do that, but you also have psych, you have ICU, ER, and it's not your it's not that you're just stuck in one place. Yeah. You can go literally anywhere, do whatever. Mm-hmm. I can progress my degree. I can go back and become a nurse practitioner or I can get my DNP. So I'm not just stuck doing one thing for the rest of my life. That's very cool. So do, are you wanting to stay with, for now, are you thinking you want to stay with just kind of like a general nurse or are you wanting to go in the specialized field? So right now I'm working on a med psych unit and I love psych, so I might do something with that after I graduate for a little bit. However, I might go the ICU route. And then after that, maybe after a few years with family, whatever, going to become a nurse practitioner just because it's more of a standard hour, mm-hmm. not 12-hour shifts. Because more than 9 that, to 5. Yeah. Okay. So I guess what kind of drew you to nursing? Like what I was talking about, just having those options. Mm-hmm. And also, I feel like I like to say that I have a big heart and I like to help people and I know that's a generic answer. I'd agree with that for you. And I know that's a generic answer, but that's something, just helping people in their lowest point. Okay. Because they're in the hospital, they're sick, Mm -hmm. they need help. And I want to be that help. Did you have any family members that were nurses or anything that kind of set that example? My sister graduated nursing school, and knowing me, I like to compete with that. So I want to be a better nurse than she is. Are you two pretty competitive together? Oh, yeah. 100%. That's funny. I'm sure family game nights are fun. You don't even want to know. That's really cool, Logan. I mean, I have a sister, so I have have two sisters, so I relate to the competitiveness a lot. Um, I guess kind of circling back to nursing a little bit, do you have any, like, funny stories or really good memories that you'd like to share yeah so one of my most memorable stories that i have and like what really gives me a good drive is like i was mentioning i work on med psych we have a lot of alcoholics that come in Mm -hmm. um there was a 24 year old woman that was in there for alcoholism and i kind of just sat down and had a conversation yeah and i feel like whenever people are at their lowest point especially going through any type of withdrawal or addiction of any kind being there and just talking and being there as a support letting them know that it's okay really stood out and she ended up breaking down in tears just because no one's really sat down and talked to her Mm -hmm. so that really stood out to me because i realized i have an impact like i'm with Mm -hmm. these people 12 hours on a shift like me being there and me being present and hearing their story it means more than people actually think yeah that's really amazing. Um, I guess piggybacking off that, maybe, like, would, I guess you'd assume that you'd recommend nursing to people? Oh, 100%. Good. And so, like, maybe do you have any, like, advice or key things that you'd suggest to people to, like, help get into it or if they're looking at this as a freshman yeah, or even I would, a senior in high school? Yeah, I'd definitely just say sit down and look at the different fields of nursing, like, different career paths that you can take and kind of see which one is the best fit for you that's one but two like if you are interested and if you do go into nursing having like a reason why Mm -hmm. and always remembering why you're doing what you're doing because it does get challenging it does get tough but if you say that little sentence in your head i'm in here doing what i do because i love helping Mm -hmm. people or because of this experience it gives you that drive and motivation yeah but then also three just it's a lot of work. You got to study mm-hmm. and studying ahead of time. Don't wait last minute because I've done that and it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. But if you really sit down, study, go through all your stuff and connect the dots, mm-hmm. it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you sharing the heartfelt stories. Those are all really great things. And thank you guys for watching. Logan, thanks for coming on. Thank and you. I'll see you guys next week. Maybe we'll have Logan back later in the semester if he keeps on doing interesting things. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But, all right, well, thank you, Logan. Thank Thank you, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you next time.